love when I hit start recording a bit late. Um, welcome back to our career mode, everyone. We're coming up against the Thunder once again uh, in a return game after we pretty much just played them at uh, Sydney Showground Stadium. That is an unbelievable shot for me to get off the mark. Uh, we lost the uh, bat flip, so we're batting first. And we're coming up here at 3 for 90. We've just come in. Yeah, that was really slow. Oh, a ball didn't go where I wanted it to go. And we are in the form of our life. We haven't been dismissed for probably four matches. Yes. And yet they still have refused to move us up from number five. We also have a contract for the uh, the Pakistan Premier League. I'm not sure if uh, you missed that in the previous video, but we do. Yep. Well, that's down the ground. Oh, it's not quite timed as well as I would have liked. Dive gets home. And we've moved up to number four in the player of the series. Uh, competition uh, for the Big Bash. Yep. It's in here. That'll be four. Now, Ben Cutting in the last game decided to bowl about four full tosses in a row to me. But if he wants to bowl it and pitch it up, I'm probably going to hit him anywhere regardless. I make this actually look so simple at the moment. When I'm telling you, everyone, I have just finally found my groove. Wait, yes. No. Oh. But honestly, sometimes I hit those shots and I'm like, oh my god, that is a great shot. Yes. And I surprise myself with how often I am middling the ball. But I want to push his target up to 170 plus from a Hurricanes point of view. At the moment we're on track for about yep. 150 at the current rate. This should be another boundary. Well done, Harry Brook. And I feel like I've done quite a good job in this tournament of uh, allowing my partner to score runs when required. Like, I haven't been overly controlling as to facing the deliveries unless we've lost a number of wickets, and I've really backed in my teammates in most circumstances. And also, like, it's it's so easy when they are actually playing well. Oh, that's a wide, is it? It is a wide ball. No, I'm finally out. I finally miss hit one. And I've nicked it. Jeez, that's disappointing. Have I? I did. I definitely nicked it. But was it like a big nick? Or was it like a... Oh, I mean, look, the keeper's probably not going to catch that. So I feel a little robbed. Averaging 107 with the ball as well. So... <laughs> Averaging 100 plus with both the bat and the ball. Yep. One is obviously better than the other. Really have not done a lot this tournament with the ball. I can tell my confidence level really quite low. This is a struggle. Oh, is that out? Is it hitting the top of leg? We need a wicket here. They are all over us. Yes. And that is another boundary. One for 83. <laughs> I mean, this is the perfect scenario for the Sydney Thunder. Is, uh, you know, take the power surge while you've got two two guys in, hitting the ball well, and really get ahead of the game yep. to, you know, a larger amount. So, I'm not really sure what we're, we have to do here. Oh, can I run someone out? Oh, I should have gone to keeper's end. Yes. Oh. My goodness, they keep coming, the boundaries. 15 from the over. I mean, it's a power surge over, but what can you do? What can you do? They've won the game. The Thunder. We didn't get enough runs. So they beat us in their return game at home. We beat them at home and they beat us at home. And unfortunately, I couldn't contribute for the first time in a long time. I mean, these, these guys who are the leading run scorers have had double the amount of balls I've had. I've had 190 balls. They've all had 300. They've all had 100 more balls than me. Well, now we're headed to Marvel Stadium or Docklands uh, in Melbourne. If you've never been there before. And it's uh, the Melbourne Renegades' home ground. They've won the bat flip. Generally a pretty difficult batting pitch, Docklands. Uh, it's normally a bit slower than some of the other grounds. Uh, the Gades have won the toss again a bat first. No Aaron Finch for the Renegades. I feel like he's gone on Australian duties and that has really set back their season. They've dropped from the top of the table since 
that was the case. And now that we are out of the power play, we can't afford to spread the field. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. It's Sean Marsh. Oh, he's nicked that. Oh, there is a fielder down there. Settling underneath it. And he's fallen over the rope. <laughs> Six. I haven't quite worked out how to bowl in T20s yet. Like, I um, haven't been bowling sort of on the stumps. I've tried to bowl to fields, which sometimes has worked, sometimes hasn't. But I haven't yet found an effective way to take a wicket. Oh, it's high, but I think it's six. And it is. Oh, out! That is a miracle. An absolute pie in the end. He's hit it straight onto his pad. This is a mess of a delivery. Have a look at how bad it is. Oh, he's like gloved it onto his pad. Wow. That is an unbelievable way to get a breakthrough. One for 55. I'll catch it again. Oh. I mean, Shawmarsh was the dangerous player. So we are glad to see the back of him. She's not, not too in that, mate. Wouldn't have thought so. Oh, there's the outside edge. It's racing away. It is going to fall short. So they will get two. And, oh, third. Should be a run out. Should be a run out. Yeah. It is. There was never three in that. And Nick Madsen's just ran out Marcus Harris. Because it's probably his call. He probably saw the fielder and said yes. Harris turned super late. And you can just see it unfolding here. McDermott had plenty of time to whip off the bales. Marcus Harris out for 35. Oh, out. Yes. Well, the power surge gets a wicket. He's inside edge it. Somehow not onto the stumps, but onto his thigh. And McDermott's been able to take the catch. Mackenzie Harvey now coming to the middle. They got a lot of left-handers. The Hurricanes, eh, not the Hurricanes. The uh, Renegades. Oh! A thick edge. We'll race towards the boundary. They'll pick up two. If they want three, it's going to be a run out. It's going to be a run out. It's not a run out and they're lucky. Wicket's tumbled. And I've come in. I don't think there's much to do here. But if there is, I'm probably the guy to do it. Okay, we need 36 from 13. Here we go. Got to be a boundary. Oh, there's at least two in it, Harry. There's at least two in it, Harry. We'll take the two. Power surge activated. This could be big. Brooks hit 79 from 39. We need 34 from the last two overs. That's six. Come on, Harry. Welcome to the Harry Brooks show. I'll play whatever support you need, mate. 28 from 11. Mate, I'm going to have to go from ball one. Oh, lovely again. Is it six more? It's one bounce four. Mate, this could be a remarkable win. What did we need? We needed 34 from the last two overs. But they're power surge overs. Four again. Hit the rope on the full. It is six. 16 from the first three balls. Harry Brook, 95 from 42. Back down the bar, pass the bowler's head, it's four again. What an over this has been. 20 from four balls. Evans has been absolutely spanked and it's now 14 from eight. Oh my goodness, he's hit it again. Another four. 10 from seven. And 100 for Harry Brook. How exciting. 13 fours, six sixes. 10 from seven with a ball to come. I mean, if you want the single, I'll give it to you. If not, I'll win the game. That's four. We need six from the last over because that over went for a remarkable 28 runs. What an over this has been from Brooke. Single-handedly has got the Hurricanes out of trouble. Look at this wagon wheel. It's unbelievably good. And Muhammad Nabi to bowl the final over. We need six to win. I'm going to go straight over his head. There it is. 
There is a huge six to win the game. That Harry Brook couldn't have done it without him. Wow, wow, wow. Harry Brook. Got us there. I just was supporting role, and of course he's the player of the game. For a hundred and something not out. Harry Brook. He's done, we've seen him do it more than once in this tournament. That's the reason why I think he is the captain of this team, actually. He's a good player. Maybe he'll be playing uh, with us when we play for Australia one of these days. Harry Brooks, 107 not out, play of the game performance. Oh, I actually did take two wickets, didn't I? Two for 42. It was a run-out involved during my bowling as well. And a little cameo of eight from two. Just, just to add to my repertoire. Just another little performance there. So the Canes have won the toss. We're going to bowl first. A couple of lights on at those houses there in Hobart. That I've been given the ball here with a couple of overs to go. This is the type of bowling I need to do on a... On a, on a normal basis. Yep. That's six, though. It's a bit disappointing. Like there was one run off four balls. Yep. And that's miss hit as well, but it's going to be a single. So it's going to end up with, what, eight from the over. Which is still good, leading the piece. Two for one, six, eight. Now the surge, and I am going to have to bowl the surge as well, the final over. He's probably going to go um, behind square on the onside. That's not good. That shot. Anything below 10, I think, has been a good over. I'll field it. Yep. Yeah, that's probably too much of a pie, that. Catch. Yep. Uh, more runs. Last couple of balls have been costly now. The over's worth 13. And it'll be worth 17 runs. The heat will end on 193. It's a huge target. Harry Brook and myself are going to win us this game. I believe. We need 79 from 37. That's child's play, mate. It's easy. Wilderness is going to bowl a full toss. I'm going to hit him over cover for six. God, I absolutely middled that though. Just the one. I'll be on strike. Three for one, 16. 78 from the last six. What's that, 12 and over? 13 and over? It's a lot. Well, that's the perfect start. That's out of here. That's absolutely out of here. Okay, the, the, that's now down to 12 and over. Do it again. That's a wide almost. It is. Yes. Ah, you beat the fielder, it's four. Yes, yes, Harry. Mate, I'm telling you, we're going to win this game for the Canes. This first over of our partnership, worth 15 from three. Run rate's already down to 12. Yep. That's, uh, that's six. Yeah! yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's the end of Harry. I thought it had carried, but Harry didn't carry. He didn't get over the rope. Oh, good catch. Was it Tommy Cooper, it was. 4 for 128. Harry, Harry Brook. He's out. Peter Hanscom is in. All right, well, now it is on my shoulders. I've been the finisher a few times. Can I do it again? It's going to have to be stuff like this to keep us in it. Like, you just need boundaries. Boundaries and dots aren't going to... Uh, dots, sorry, aren't going to do it. Singles and twos aren't going to do it. It's boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. That is what we need. 60 needed from the last five. I wonder if we've still got the power surge to come. I feel like this is going to be a full toss, though. No, it's not. It might only be two. But if we're lucky, it's four. I've worked out this T20 game, everyone. I don't know if you've noticed... <laughs> But I'm pretty confident on how to play it. Yeah, yeah. Has that found the gap? That has been an unbelievable hit. I somehow almost split those two in half, and they are not very far apart. Like, look at that. They are not far apart, and I almost hit it through them for four. Over him, that's four. Wow. This is... This is honestly quite remarkable how well I've played tonight. I think I've recorded three videos tonight, everyone. 
and I'm honestly shocked with how well my consistency has been throughout. That's why I've just kept going and going and going. Yes. Another unbelievable shot. That has flown. Oh my God, how has he picked that up? It was so low. I'm determined to win this match. Yep. Come on, get in the gap. Anyway, the one is doesn't phase me because I get the strike. One, four for 150. Yeah, yeah. No. This has been two dots in a row here. All of a sudden, a couple of dots. Just a bit more pressure on me. Run right back to 12. Wait. Ah, never in doubt. Four. <laughs> That was full and wide and still low and hard and to the boundary. 40 from 20. I mean, it's still very doable. Still very doable. Only four from four balls is over. Well, I'll make that 10. Uh, <laughs> when, you're, when you're on, you're on, everyone. Like, this could be a marathon recording session for me because I'm literally that on. Okay, from the last three, we need 30. That is so gettable. Swept and bowling, hands come on strike. Hasn't faced a ball yet. Work to do though. Yes, to go from ball one. Do we want the two? I think we take the two. I think at this stage, we take every run we can get. If we can get a two off a ball, we'll do it. Because you back that hands come's probably gonna hit a good shot more often than not. Okay, maybe we should take the strike back as soon as we can. <laughs> yes. Uh, in the end, nah, we'll take the one. Or do we want the two? Nah, we'll take the two. If I need to hit 24 from the last two overs, I'll do it. That's fine. But I just, I'd like Hanscom to have this over as an opportunity to try and yep. be a hero. It's two again. It's almost four. It is four. See? He doesn't need me to do everything. He's hit eight from this, this over already. Yes. And what have we got? Power surge next over? Two again. No, only the one. Yeah, yeah. Four. I mean, we take the boundaries when we get the boundaries. 17 from the last two overs. And we are in the box of box seats. Yep, 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 yep. Petey Hanscom finds the rope. 50 partnership for us. Have a look at him here, Hanscom, front on view of the helmet cam. Geez, the ball sort of sailed a bit in the, the wind, did it? No, maybe it was just when he started running. 13 from 11. We've, we, I've, I've got us out of this. 48 from 18. I was striking at 300. I am striking at 300. If it's full, it goes straight. If it's full and wide, it goes over cover. Well, if it's a good length, it's probably a dot. Waiting. Oh, to the fielder. Ooh, interesting development here. I haven't quite got us over the line. Out for 48. I'm very disappointed, though. 12 from 8. It's still gettable both ways. Oh, no, we've done enough. We have done enough. Beautiful shot, that. Down the ground. Is it over that field up? It's four. And we'll need one from the last over. Or two from the last over. How have we chased down 192? I don't know how we managed to chase down this total. But we've done it. What a performance by the Hobart Hurricanes. Knocking off the ladder leaders. The Brisbane Heat. After we needed, what, 78 from the last six overs. We were never out of it. This bloke, Ben Duckett's 84, gets him play of the game on us. 48 from 20. I mean, it, it was still pretty good. It was still pretty good for me. Five for one on it. I don't know how we did that. Like, I'm looking at the worm. You can see exactly where I, I came in in that 15th over and put us into the game-winning spot. And we just did it. We, we unbelievably did. And like that, that Manhattan. When I came in, 16 runs, or 17 runs, 17 runs, 
14 runs, 13 runs, 15 runs. Like, that's that's your game right there, those five overs. I've played some good games, everyone. I know I didn't finish this one off, which is disappointing to me, but I've played some very good games. So, we've actually got one more game left in this Big Bash season before the finals. We'll do that in the next video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm actually going to stop now because as good a form as I'm in, I feel like I need a break. So thank you for watching. I know that you're like, Dean, this is just one video in a day. I've recorded like three today, as I said. Thank you for watching. Have a, have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow where we will continue to hopefully still be as awesome as we have been today. Okay? Namaste.